This screencast covers material from Module 3, Lesson 7, and is based upon the homework problems. We're not working them out for you, but we're going to give you some guidance in solving these problems uh, using tape diagrams and a little discussion of what's going on. Let's read the first problem. It says, Christine baked pumpkin pie. She ate one-sixth of the pie. Her brother ate one-third of it and gave the leftovers to his friends. What fraction of the pie did he give to his friends? Well, let's start with the tape diagram. We know that we have one whole pie. So we're going to bracket our tape diagram and label the top with a 5. <clears throat> now we're going to uh, partition this. Uh, we have one-sixth was eaten by Christine. And her brother ate one-third. And the rest was given to the friends. We don't know what that is. All right, so we have one as a whole. And what we have to do is account for one-sixth and one-third. We're going to take those away and find out what remains. It's a pretty simple problem. Uh, two steps. You could uh, subtract twice from the whole, or you could add the fractions, then subtract the sum from the one whole. Okay, the next one. Liang went to the bookstore. He spent one-third of his money on a pen and four-sevenths of it on books. What fraction of his money did he have left? This is very similar to the previous uh, problem. We don't know how much money there are there is, but we know that um, he had a certain amount, and that would be represented as one whole. All right. Like the other one, we are going to look at what's accounted for here. We have one-third of his money is spent on a pen. We know that four-sevenths is spent on a book. And we know that he has some money left over. We're not sure what the amount is. So in order to find the left, we're going to have to work like we did with the previous problem. We can subtract twice from the whole, or we can find the sum of the two parts, and then subtract the sum from the whole. And that will give you what's left. Tiffany bought two-fifths a kilogram of cherries. Linda bought one-tenth kilograms less than Tiffany. How many kilograms did they buy together? We have uh, This one's a little more complicated. Let's start with what we know. We know that we have Tiffany has two-fifths a kilogram. We know that Linda has one-tenth less. So what are we going to do? Let's erase that. Let's make those e more even. She's got the same length here. And we know that that's one-tenth less. And we have a question mark here. And we'll find out how much Linda has. Now, once we find the amount uh, that Linda has purchased, of course, we know that it's less. We know that two-fifths is what Tiffany has. And Linda has one-tenth less. The operation should be pretty simple to figure out. Once we're done with that, and you may represent this in any number of ways, is we'll have Tiffany's amount, which we know as two-fifths, and then we're going to tack on Linda's amount. We're not sure what that is, but once we find the answer to this, we're going to put that answer right there, and then we can find the whole. We'll bracket that and put a question mark. Moving along. Mr. Rivas bought a can of paint. He used three-eighths of it to paint a bookshelf. He used one-fourth to paint a wagon. He used some paint to paint the birdhouse. We don't know how much. That's what we need to find out. And has one-eighth of the paint left. How much paint did he use for the birdhouse? Well, we have one hole that represents our can of paint. 
we know three of the parts, but we don't know the fourth. So we have three-eighths for the bookshelf. We have one-fourth for the wagon. And we have one-eighth left. And we have another amount here for the birdhouse. We'll put a question mark there. All right, well, this is a lot like 1 and 2, except we have one extra fraction to deal with. And we could deal with that in any number of ways. The one thing I do want to point out to you, though, is we have this 1 eighth and we have this 3 eighths. And those are easy to work with numbers because they have a common denominator. When you work this, you might consider using the eighths first and then working from there. It'll make the problem a little bit easier to solve. And again, it's much like one and two, except we have three portions that are known of the whole, so we have one extra fraction to deal with. A ribbon A is one-third of a meter long. It is two-fifths shorter than ribbon B. What's the total length of the two ribbons? All right, I'm going to represent this one a little bit differently. We have ribbon A is one-third. Ribbon B is going to be that one-third. And we're going to have the two-fifths because ribbon B is longer than ribbon A. Let's erase that and make a nice looking five. And what are we going to have to do? Well, we're going to have to put all of these together. And that will give you the length of two ribbons. If you look at this, uh, I think you can uh, see a few different ways we can work this out. Uh, what we have to do is put all these together and make uh, the whole length of the two ribbons.